my days to get better. I do not need you. If you wanna leave, you can go. I ain't writing no letter. I'm stay to myself, cause they start acting different when they see that you getting cheddar. They like, why you so distant? Cause I'm on a mission, I can't take my foot off the pedal. You see, I'm doing good now. You wanna be here, don't claim me as a part of your vessel. I don't cap my rap like you niggas do. I'm really getting this shit off the muscle. I don't really do beef and I'm focused on music. I'm trying to get out of the gutter. If you think about this and then come get up with me, I'm letting you know I'll tussle. Yeah, it's only been one year since I started rapping. I already feel like the greatest. Life is a gamble, but death is a promise. You still gotta watch how you play it. I'ma just call you broke if you got time for hating. The young nigga ain't even famous. I'ma listen to mama. She always done told me if you want it, you gotta take it. Don't fake like you proud of me. Why would you lie to me? All that I want is your honesty. People talk, then they stop me. I'm a young prodigy. Nobody working as hard as me. Plus, I'm missing my niggas. I know they ain't living, but now I'm just missing a part of me. I'm just that type of nigga when I show my loyalty. People think they be outsmarting me. Watch for them niggas around you. When they see you eating, they gon' get to hating. I still be praying to God to forgive me. My sense, but I listen to say I had dreams about the NBA, but I'm still turning out how I wanted to be. I've been standing on 10, I'm never gonna fall out some shit that they wanted to see. I'm all about money, I'm never gonna fly when a young nigga get to the top. These niggas be faking, they put on an image and act like somebody they not. All I know is go get it, I'm focused on music, it's time to go run up or not. I heard they want me gone and they gon' put me out cause they heard that a young nigga hot. Wet on my shoulders, but that ain't a feather, I'm praying that days to get better. I do not need you, if you wanna leave, you can go out and write no letter. When they see that you getting cheddar They like, why you so distant? Cause I'm on a mission, I can't take my foot off the pedal You see I'm doing good, now you wanna be here Don't claim me as a part of your vessel I don't cap my rap like you niggas do I'm really getting this shit off the muscle I don't really do beef and I'm focused on music I'm trying to get out of the gutter If you think about this, then come get up with me I'm letting you know I gotta go get it, young nigga, I'm on a mission I'm trying to run up some ends, I feel like I'm different I think I'm meant for the riches, trying to get out of the trenches I ain't got nothing to lose, I feel like I'm baby Cause now I got something to prove Remember what bitch Play me now, they call me baby, they lie, young nigga do it. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. What's good with y'all boys, man? It's your boy Bax back with another banger for you guys. Today is probably the most requested video, but hey, before I get to the video, alright, before I get to the video, the double tutorial, look at the top left, bro. I'm like, look at the top left. I got my hand cam thing right there. I'm like, this took me so long to set up. I would have been, been dropped this video, but it's, it's, bro, trust me, it's so hard to set up. I had to upgrade my whole PC just to get this to work. So, you know what I'm saying? If you had, like, if you, bro, I upgraded my whole PC. Just to show you guys how to do um, all these moves, you know what I'm saying? How to be the best guard in this game. So if you can, just please drop a like for me. It takes 10 to get this free. It helps me out a lot. So about time to know these, you know what I'm saying? I know that intro at the beginning was kind of long, but the only reason I did it that long is to show you like all the moves. I'm, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do all those moves and some more moves to add on to it, right? I'm, I'm going to start with basic moves and then get to advanced moves as well. Before that, I get to the little dribble tutorial, but by the way, Ray my fit, right? my fit, right? like, right my fit, bro. I think this, bro, this fit is tough, bro. I'm like, I'm waiting on these new drivers, but um, I don't know why they haven't dropped in the store yet. But pretty much, I'm gonna get to dribble tutorial right now. Like I said, comment what you want to see next. Follow my Twitch, Twitter, TikTok, all that in the bottom left. I'm gonna get to the thing right now. Hope y'all enjoy. It's your boy back. I'm gonna get right into it, and I'm out. All right, I'm in my court right now. But I'm gonna show you guys all the moves, how to do everything. I'm gonna lie. The reason why I think this video is gonna be so good. It's cause like to me, I feel like I'm the best explainer, right? I, I know sometimes I talk a little bit too fast. Even right now, I think I'm talking a little too fast. But I'm gonna explain to you guys the best you can, I mean, best I can. I think I'm a really good explainer. Uh, I'm gonna get right to it right now. Before I get to the um, dribble tutorial, I gotta show you guys the dribble moves, bro. I gotta show you guys everything, all right? Cause I said this video is gonna be like a dribble tutorial, dribble moves video. Shooting. It's gonna be all these videos in one video, all right? So pretty much. I'm gonna show you my shooting badges first. All right, copy these badges exactly. Like, don't even change it. Copy them exactly how they are. Feel me? Um, go here. Copy it. Make sure to put anchor back in Hall of Fame. All right, this is a must. All right, make sure to have these exactly the same. All right, the shooting badges you can change it a little bit. Just make sure to have like at least make sure to have clutch, green machine, range, and hot zone Hall of Fame. And then for uh play playmaking, copy these exactly how they are. And for uh defense, copy these exactly. If you're guarding a ball, though, if you're guarding ball, make sure to put uh. Clamps on gold. If you guard the ball, put this right here. 
All right, but I don't guard ball. I guard, I guard in the corner. Cause I don't play two. I play threes. All right. But if, you play, if you play twos, put the one I just put, and yeah, and then for the uh, finish it, put pro touch. Right. Pretty much. That's the badge right there. Make sure to pause the video. You know what I'm saying? Copy those badges exactly how they are. All right. Next, go to the uh. I'm sure you guys jump shot real quick. Jump shot. All right. And like they passed my jump shot in that old video. Um, but it, it still works. But it's like they, I don't know. They, they, they kind of like nerfed it a little bit. So uh, now I use this jump shot right here. It's the same thing, but this D Wade. D Wade, Rudy Gay, Rudy Gay. 75 speed. Make sure to put 75 speed. All right. This jump shot is so chicken, bro. It's like the base three one, but it's just a little bit different. I used to use base three Rudy Gay, Rudy Gay. Um, but they passed down after the pass. Like they don't, right when I dropped that video, they passed it the next day. I don't know. But pretty much, uh, that's what I use right here. And then I'm gonna get to the uh, six right now. This is the most important part, all right? Make sure to uh, copy these exactly how they are, all right? Copy the six exactly. And look, all right, hold on. All right, so pretty much put dribble style power. Don't put power in LeBron is good, but put power, right? Trust me, put power, it's way quicker. And yeah, all right. Crossover put Pro 8. Pro 8's really good. I've been using it all year. Yeah, last year was Pro 2. You can use either one, to be honest. But Pro 8 gets more ankle breakers. I like Pro 8 better. Just put Pro 8, trust me. Yeah. All right, for the behind the back, Pro 6 is good. Pro 3 is also good. Um, to be honest, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter which one you put. I like, I low-key like both of them, like 50-50. But right now, I'm using Pro 6. I used to use Pro 3. I'm, I'm about to go back to Pro 3, I'm not going to lie. Because there's just one move that I like with Pro 3. Um, I'm literally about to go back to it like right now. Like, I'm literally about to just get it's, it's put Pro 3. I don't know. I, I like both of them a lot. So yeah, for the spins, put basic one. Don't even like just put it on. All right. All right. For the hezzy, put Pro 4. No debate. Just put Pro 4. It's the best one, hands down. Um, that's you know what I'm saying. No debate. Just put it. Put it on. Right. Trust me. You can see the most anchor breakers. Just trust me. Yeah. All right. For the size up. All right. There's two sizes. Right. I'm like 50-50 of this, this one too. Put Lillard or D Rose. A lot of guards use D Rose. Like a lot of the comp guards, top guards use uh Lillard. I mean. And um, I use D Rose. Like some some guards use D Rose, but uh, a lot of guards use Lillard. You know, what I'm saying? I like both of them. But I used to use Lillard. Now I use D Rose. Like I, I like to switch it up. I don't like using the same thing for so long. But yeah, you can use either one you want. Um, but for the video purposes, just because I used to use D D Lillard so much, I'm using Lillard for now. Just to show you guys. And Lillard uh, is what most guards use, right? So I know you guys want to be like the best guard. How the top guards are. So I'm gonna show you guys how the top guards be moving with these six. And yeah. All right, part size, I put nine. It gives you um, bad animations. Basic size, all right. The best ones are Pro 2 and Pro 5. I used to use Pro 5. Make sure to use Pro 2, all right? Pro 2 is way quicker. It's like, it makes the defender, like, it's harder to guard, right? Trust me, I I'm a lockdown, too. It's way harder to guard Pro 2. It's like, I don't know how to explain it. It's just way harder to guard. Just make sure to put it on. But yeah. For escape package, make sure to put Pro 5. Um, Pro 5 is definitely the uh, best one. It gives you, like, the uh, behind the back. It gives you a lot of moves you can do off of. Um... Yeah, it gives you like this one long crossover. I'll, you're gonna see. I'm, I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. And yeah, you can use Pro 3 too, but Pro 3 is only good for like bigger players, right? If you're like 6'5 and up, use Pro 3. But I use Pro 5. I don't know. I just use Pro 5, bro. And lastly, put normal 8. I'm not even gonna explain it because there's no point. And yeah. Alright, you copy the rest of the stuff right here. Um, Make sure I put hop jumper 14. I'm, I'm gonna show you guys how to do the hop jumper. This is really OP. Uh, I can green it almost all the time. And yeah. And then you to copy this dunk from the guard. I mean, I'm gonna show you guys all this. Uh, and then the best, I don't, I don't know. You, you guys can see this. I, I use Take About, right? Take About is the best one. And yeah, so pretty much, I'm gonna get to do a tutorial right now. You see, I got the little dude right here. I'm gonna get right to it right now. Hold up. What you guys wanna do is start a personal workout. Uh, put yourself on offense. Put the, the defensive player on defense. Russell Westbrook. This is how you practice your moves and your jump shot. Uh, uh, if you're like not doing anything, like if you're not playing like the game. Go to the micro court, do this. You can practice your dribble moves, everything. This is how I became a good dribbling guard and a good shooter, just because I be me here all the time. And by the way, make sure to get a playmaking boost and shooting boost. You don't, you do not need Gatorade. Just make sure to get shooting and playmaking boost this year. You need it on a guard to get anchor breakers and to shoot the ball just in general. And besides that, I'm gonna get right to it right now. Show you guys the dribble tutorial. Hope you all enjoy. See, boy, backs, and I'm out. All right, so for the first move, I'm gonna be teaching you guys today. It's it's not really like for in my video, I'm gonna be going from basic moves to more advanced moves. But this move is kind of advanced, but it's it's the most important move in the game. So I, I need to teach you it first, cause you need to learn how to do this move to combo up other moves. But it's the like, it's the it's, all right. I'm gonna say it to you guys, it's the speed boost glitch, right? If you don't know what the speed boost glitch is, look, just look at me. You see how fast I'm moving across the court? I know some some of uh, some of you people that. This move is way too basic for you, like you know how to do it. So if you, if you know how to do this move already, just go to the next move. 
But people in my comments have been asking me how to do speed boost glitch, how you do that, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna show you guys how to do every single move, even the basic ones. And yeah, so pretty much the speed boost glitch is kind of hard to explain. It's kind of advanced, but you have to learn how to do this move because every single guard in the comp stage, and it doesn't even matter, like every guard does this move to get open. You kind of need it because if you don't do this move, it's gonna be really hard to get open because you're gonna be moving like a sloth. So you gotta do this move, all right? Trust me, it's really important. This is the most important move in the video, all right? Learn how to do this one first, and then the rest will come to you easy. But yeah, so pretty much how to do this move. All right, so you, first off, the speed was glitch. You can do it off any move, all right? Now, what you wanna do is let's do, all right, let's start with the uh, crossover, right? If you don't know how to do a crossover, just do a crossover, Um, just flick up on your right stick, and that's how you do a crossover, right? So what you wanna do is uh, flick your right stick, let go of R2, and then hold R2 and then go the direction you want to go, all right? So pretty much what you're going to do is, uh, all right, let me, let me explain it better. I'm, I'm going to say kind of slow, all right? So flick your right stick up, let go of R2, and then go the direction you want to go, and then hold R2 while you're going that direction, all right? You got to, like, wait, like, a split second. Just go to the mic court and lap up, you know what I'm saying? Just keep practicing it. I promise you, it, at first, it was really hard for me to, all right? It's really hard to explain. It, it's hard to just, like, I don't, it's hard in general, all right? But after you I'll get it down, it'll be so easy. See, I do I do off any single move. It don't even matter. Like, look, just look, bro. I can do off any move, right? Um, just remember, let go of R2 at first, and then hold R2 the direction you want to go, right? So let's, let's go and say, say I'm going left, right? Alright, so now I'm gonna go left, right? Look, I'm gonna go left and I'm gonna just do it, alright? Look. Let do, do the thing. Hold on, let me do it again. Alright, do the crossover, let go of R2, then hold R2. See? I'm gonna do it right this time. Flick up. Lego R2, hold R2. See, that time was a little slower, but it's still a speed boost glitch in general. You see, it's kind of hard to explain, but if you, bro, once, after the first time you do it, you'll get it down. Trust me, all right? Just promise, this this move is the most important move you need in the game. You can do off any single move. And yeah, I'm going to get to the second move right now. Hope you guys, I hope I explained it good for you guys. I know it's really hard to explain. You'll understand. Like, if you're in my shoes, it's kind of hard to explain. But the rest of these moves, I'm going to explain it really easily, you know what I'm saying? But this move is kind of hard to explain. All right, the second one I'm teaching you guys today is the curry slide. I know you guys seen it. Look, look at this. Look at it. This is the move right here. This year you can spam it. It was in the game in 2K20 uh, at like not not at the end, but you could last year you couldn't spam it. It's also on next gen too. It's on every single game, but this is the only 2K you can spam it on. I'm gonna teach you guys how to spam it. You can see on the uh, controller cam. All you gotta do, you don't even gotta hold R2 nothing. All you gotta do is just hold your right stick to the. All right, so if if your ball's in your right hand, hold your right stick diagonal down to the left and curry slide. All right. And if the ball's in your left hand, hold it to the diagonal down to the right. Like this. You can see on the thing right there. It, some, you gotta practice it in the mic court because sometimes it'll make you shoot before, like at the beginning of the game. It'll make me shoot. Like, like if, if you um accidentally like hold it down, you see, you shoot the ball. So you gotta make sure you're doing it diagonal down to the right, diagonal to the left. After you do it for like a long time, you know what I'm saying? You're used to it. I haven't shot, I haven't like got a bat. Because sometimes I'll be playing the game, like I'll do a curse slide, and now like it's right there. I'll try to do a curse slide and then make me shoot the ball instead, all right? So pretty much, um, make sure to practice this thing in the mic court. Obviously, I got used to it, but uh, yeah, so that's, that's the move right there. It's kind of easy to uh, master. And besides that, I'm gonna get to the next move right now, and I'm out. All right, for the next move, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to do the crossover spam. I think it's what I call it. I don't even know what the name is called, but I'm gonna show you. This is how, how it looks. Look, this is how it looks. Hello. See, you can do it to any side. You can do it to the left. You can do it to the right. You can do it to the same ball hand. You can do it to the other ball hand. It does not matter. This move is really effective. It is, bro. It, this move kills everybody. I'm not gonna lie. This is one of my favorite moves for it's for like. I use it all. I use it like literally every single possession. Right. I literally do it every single possession. I don't score for it every single time, but. It gets me open most of the time, and yeah, I'm like, it confuses your defenders a lot because you can go to the same direction. You can, like, the only reason it confuses your defenders is that because you can do it to any hand, right? If you do the the, uh, the, the crossover spam, you can do it to the left, you can do it to the right. They, they can't predict where you're going unless like uh, they get lucky. You know what I'm saying they could predict you, but you you gotta be unpredictable, right? To, to be the best guard, you gotta be unpredictable. You can't do the same moves over and over again. That's why I'm showing you guys every single move in the game. But if you want, just stick your right stick up, do the speed boost, go to any side you want, you know what I'm saying? Just read your defense, read the defense, and just go to whatever side you want to go. Um, you get used to it eventually, you know, like I said, just lab up all these moves, and you get used to it really soon. Alright, for the next move right now, I don't know why I didn't put this move earlier, but pretty much, it's just, I'm, I'm going to show you how to do the Hezzy. 
um, and how to get ankle breakers off the Hezzy, alright? That's the most important part. How to get ankle breakers off the Hezzy, alright? So pretty much, um, you, you equip Pro 4 Hezzy, hopefully. I told you to equip Pro 4 Hezzy. It's the best Hezzy in the game. It gives you all the ankle breakers. Um, make sure to get playmaking boost, right? You cannot get ankle breakers without ankle breaker Hall of Fame, Pro 4 Hezzy, and a uh, playmaking boost, right? Make sure to get playmaking and answering the boost, like I said. And yeah, so pretty much what you want to do is do the Hezzy. If the ball's in your right hand, if you go to the left, Flick your right stick left, right? Like straight to the left. If you go to the right, flick your right stick straight to the right. It gives you the Hezzy every single time, right? Now, it, it doesn't give you an anchor breaker every time. I'm gonna show you guys how to get an anchor breaker every single time, all right? So, look, if your defenders, I'm like, I'm, I'm playing the AI, so it's gonna be kind of hard. But if your AI is right in front of you, it's like, you see? Wait, hold up. I'm gonna try and get, like, he's not guarding me really tight. Hold up. See, see how he fell right there? If, if they're right in front of you, make sure to do the Hezzy. Look, you see how he's falling? Like, if they're, if they're right in front of you, you can do the Hezzy every time. See how he's falling every single time? Look, I'm going to show you. Hold up. Hold up. He, he, he kind of far right there. Hold up. I'm going to show you. I'm like, he's not falling. I'm like, you don't get it every single time. But I'm like, if you got Anchor Breaker Hall of Fame and Playmaker Boost, you're going to get it almost every single time. Especially on a real defender. Because a real defender is actually going to be guarding you. I'm, I'm playing the AI. The AI is kind of like guarding me way back. See how he's falling right there. But um, that's the move right there. I'm going to get right to the next move right now. Remember, this move, this move, that's that move right there, the Hezzy, is probably the most important move in the game. I forgot to put that earlier. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna get go right to the next move right now, and I'm out. All right, so those, um, what's it called? Those three moves are kind of important. This move is kind of like this is my move, I guess. I, mean, I can't. It's not only my move, but this is the this is the move I use like. Every I get open off this move almost all the time. It's called an in and out. Obviously, you guys don't know what it is, but a lot of you guys do not know how to do this here. Right? So pretty much, if the ball's in your right hand, just flick your right stick to the right. All right, you can flick your right stick to the right or, or diagonal up to the right. This somewhere to the right, and they'll give you this move right here, the in and out, and then do a speed boost push off of it this way. I'm like if you do it, help if you do it multiple times to the same direction, it's gonna like confuse your defender a lot. I'm like I've done it before so many times. Like let's say I'm right here, right? So if I go to the right, like I do to the left, like multiple times, like this, my, my defender's not gonna like predict me going to the left that many times, right? They're usually gonna try and guard me to the right eventually. So if I, if I go like this three times, look, like two, three, four, like that. If I do that many times, they're not gonna predict me that many times to that same direction. But also, you can do it to both sides as well. Or you can do it to the left. You can, you can go this way again. It's, it's, I, I, mean, this move, I, I use it every single time. I do this move off everything, literally everything. Um. But yeah, this move gets me open a lot. I'm gonna get right to the next move right now. Remember, just flick your right stick to the right and do the speed push off of it. And yeah, alright, I'm gonna get to the next move right now. And yeah. Alright, the next move is the behind the back right. This move is kind of hard. It's been in the game since tw uh since 20. So if you're not how to do it, I know most of you probably if you play Garden 20, you know how to do it. But um, I'm gonna show you guys for the like new. Right, this is still like the beginners, right? The advanced part is coming up next. I only have two more moves for the ad, uh, beginners part. And yeah, so pretty much for the um, what's it called? For the oh, uh, what, what am I saying again? For the behind the back part, right? So for the behind the back, it's kind of like a momentum, but you, like it's kind of like so. If the ball is in your left hand, flick your right stick to the right. And then flick your left stick that same direction at the same like a second after. Right? Look, you can look at my controller how I'm doing it. See, hold up. See, all right. So flick your right stick. The ball's in your left hand. Flick your right stick to the diagonal down to the right, like a behind the back, like this. See, but this time you're gonna hold R2 while doing it. Make sure to hold R2. Hold R2, and then flick your left stick that same direction. Not flick it. Hold your left stick that same direction, like a second after. See, like this. And you can spam it. Wait, wait a second, and then you can spam it. If you're watching your left hand, flick your diagonal down to the right. Remember, make sure to hold R2. This is the only move you need to hold R2 on this whole year. Um, this, this is the only move you need to hold R2 on. Hold your R2, hold your R2, and then do like this. Hold up, like that. See? You, you see how I'm doing it? That's it. All right. So pretty much, that's how you do it right there. You can spam it all you want. Just make sure to go to the microwave. After you get it like the first couple times, you get used to it. Like in 20, it was kind of hard to do. But yeah, alright, so pretty much, I'm gonna get right to the next move right now, and yeah. Alright, for the next move I'm gonna teach you guys right now, 
That's the oh, how to do a quick stop. Now look, you guys can get open all you want, but you gotta know how to shoot quickly while a defender is chasing you, right? Like look at it right there. That's a quick stop in this game. Like like you can get open, but if you can't like quick stop, you're gonna do you can do a fade, all right? You gotta know how to shoot a standing shot. A fade is not a good shot in this game. You cannot make fades like that consistently. So make sure to uh, learn how to quick stop. I'm sure you guys have to do it right now, right? So look, pretty much, if you're going to the right. You're going to want to let go of everything. Let go of R2, let go of everything. And then uh, flick your right stick to the left if you're going to the right. It's the same way going to the left. Just flick your right stick to the right. Like, look, I'm, I'm going to the right. Hold on, hold on. Let me show you. Going to the right. Flick your right stick to the left. Let go of everything. Shoot it. All right? Make sure to flick it all the way to the left. Because if you don't flick it all the way to the left, it's going to look like this. See? It's going to be slow as hell. You got to make sure to uh, flick it like this. You see that? that I, did a little too, I did a little too fast that that time, but you know what I'm saying. You get used to it eventually. If you go to the left, flick your right stick to the right. All right, look, look. If you go, I'm going to the left. Let go of everything. Let go. Of, uh, flick your right stick to the right. You know what I'm saying? I made it. All right. So pretty much, I'm like, it's kind of hard to explain like while I'm doing it, but um, you know what I'm saying. Go, if you go to the right, like I'm going to the right. Let go of everything. Flick your right stick to the left, and you shoot it. Now if you go to the left, what's it called? Go to the left. Let go of everything, uh, flick your right stick to the right, and shoot it. That easy, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of hard to explain, but you can see me doing it on the top left if, if I'm not explaining it well. Um, but literally, I'm, I'm trying to explain it as best as I can. And this is the best move to uh, get open. Also, there's, there's another way to do it. Uh, what's it called? A quick stop. Literally, it's let go of everything. Look, you can see, hold up. Do a speed boost glitch, let go of everything, wait till your feet set, and shoot. You know what I'm saying? This was a little slower, but I do it sometimes as well. Um, sometimes if I don't feel like quick stopping, if not, because sometimes my quick stop don't be working. I don't know why. Let go of everything, just shoot it right. But well, the other one's way better. Um, but this one also is effective as well. M make sure do not, bro. Some of you guys still be do not press L2 and quick stop, right? That one is so bad because some, sometimes it's fast, but sometimes it's slow, right? Do not press L2 when you quick stop because sometimes it gives you a fade, it's slow. You can get contested. Just make sure to do the other one. The other one's uh, quicker. The L2 one is a slow quick stop. It's not even a, it's not even a quick stop. It's a slow stop uh, whole time. So just make sure to, uh, what's it called? Do the one I said. Both of them are really good, but not don't do the L2 one. And yeah, I'm going to get right to the, uh, what's it called? Next move, and I'm out. All right, for the next move right now, I'm going to show you how to do the uh, behind the back into a speed boost. It's not really like a behind the, it's, it's kind of confusing. Like, you, you, see how, you see how I'm doing right there. It's a uh, behind the back into a speed boost. It's the same way you do a curry slide. Just uh, if you're your left hand, flick your right stick diagonal down to the right. If you're your right hand, flick your right stick diagonal down to the left. Right? It's, it's, like, it's like a curry slide. It's a curry slide. You're gonna hold it, but for this, you're gonna flick it. All right? And then just, just do a speed boost glitch um, to every single side. Like I said, this is this is to um, keep your dribble moves fresh and like you'll be harder to guard. The more moves you know, the harder to guard you will be. Um, like I said, just keep practicing these moves. Like I said. Uh, just look, it's like, look at it, bro. I'm like, this move's low-key one of the quickest moves in the game. Like, but no one in the game does it, right? It's kind of weird, but no one in the game does it. And yeah, so pretty much, I'm gonna get to the next move right now. And yeah. All right, for the next move we're gonna be doing right now, um, it's called, it's between legs, right? Between the legs, um, to, to a, a, a speed boost glitch, right? So pretty much, what you wanna do is, hold, uh, if the ball's in your left hand, um, flick your right stick to the right, all right? Like this. If the ball's in your right hand, flick your right stick to the left. Wait, hold up, it didn't work. Like that, alright? So, yeah, y'all make sure to do it all the way to the uh, left, you know what I'm saying? Not diagonal, up left. Make sure to do it all the way to the left, all the way to the right. Um, Not like, don't angle it any type of way, just do it all the way to the right, all the way to the left, alright? So, pretty much, do that move, and then do a, uh, a speed book glitch right off of it. Hold up, it didn't work. It's not, see, like that, alright? The, the reason why uh, you gotta change up your uh, moves is because, um, if you do the same moves every single time, a uh, lockdown is gonna be easy to, like, It'll be easy to guard you just because you're doing the same moves every single time. A lot of times it'll be easy to uh, able to predict you easier. You know what I'm saying? They'll be able, like they don't know your moves, and after they know your moves, it'll be easy. To, it'll really, really easy to guard you. If you like have so many moves in your like damn like arsenal, then it'll be hard to guard you. Like imagine me doing all these moves in one combination. Like wouldn't it be hard harder to guard me, or like would it would it would it be uh easier to, harder to guard me if I'm doing the same move every single time? Like if, I, if I'm spamming curse lives all over the court. That's easy to guard. If I'm doing this the whole time across the court, that's easy to guard. Now, if you're doing behind the backs, curry slides, in and outs, all in one, like one combination, like right now it's not looking good. I'm like, cause I am really like paying attention. I'm trying to explain it, not really like do the moves. If I'm doing all these moves in like one combination, wouldn't it be harder to guard? Like that's what I'm saying. Like do the between the legs, 
it's also it's not a really good move i don't do it that much anymore i do it a lot um but it works really well you can do it in any direction as well you can go like this and yeah right, so make sure just make sure to um what's it called have a good arsenal move like uh what's it called keep yourself like doing different moves so it, it, it could be harder to guard and like you can get more buckets up in general that's right? so pretty much i'm gonna get to the next move right now and i'm out Um, this is called, this, this, I don't know what to call it. It's kind of like a long crossover. It's like, it's like a crab move this year. See what I'm doing right here? All right, so pretty much what you want to do, it's like a curry slide, but instead of holding it downwards, hold it upwards, right? So if, if the ball's in your left hand, hold the diagonal up to the right. Hold it. Remember, no, make sure to hold it. Hold up. All right. And if the ball's in your le right hand, make sure to hold the diagonal up to the left, all right? And make sure to, to uh, hold it diagonal up to the left. If, if you don't hold it diagonal, like uh, up to the left or right, diagonal up to the right, it's not like this. It's, it's not like this, right? This is um your uh signature size up, um if, if you don't have what's it called if you don't do it correctly, it's, it's gonna make you do, it's gonna make you do, do this move right here your uh signature size up, and you don't want this move because like look just look at it this move's not gonna get you open in any type of way, all you gonna do is dribble in place you know what I'm saying so yeah pretty much um yeah alright so pretty much that's the move right there just hold it like this uh, it's like a curse slide this this move is really good to crab your defenders like if your defenders like on the left side of you. This move will crab almost every single time. And yeah. Alright, so pretty I'm gonna get to the next move right now. Alright, so this move right here, it's, it's the long between the legs. So you can see, look, it's right here, long between the legs. You can spam it as well. Um, it's, it's kinda like the same purpose as the uh, last move, the uh, long, between the, long between the legs. It's good to um, crab your defenders and catch them like, it's kinda like a curse slide, but slower, right? This will catch your defenders off guard because um, they will not think like, no one thinks that you're gonna do this off like a uh, move. Like, they think you're gonna do a curry slide, not this. But pretty much what you wanna do is just uh, if you're bossing your right hand, hold your right stick to the to the left, like uh, between the legs. The bossing your left hand, hold your right stick to the right. It's like a curry slide, but it's, 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 just hold it right this time. I mean, it's not. It's like a curry slide, but uh, hold it to the right and hold it to the left, right? Just it, make sure to hold this one. For all the long moves in this game, you have to hold it, right? For all the uh, slow moves, you gotta uh. Just like flick it, alright? Like for the um, what's it called? For the um, for the crossover, just go like this. You flick it. For the in and out, you flick it. For the um, curry slide, you hold it. For this, for this uh, between the legs, hold like long between the legs, you hold it. For the um, the long crossover, you hold it. You know what I'm saying the long, the uh, slower moves, like the crabbing moves, like uh, like the curry slide, in the, between the legs, the long between the legs, in the long crossover. I use all those moves to crab my defenders, alright? But the other moves are just, just to get open, right? So the, the long moves in this game, the one, the moves that you hold your right stick down, those moves are to, uh, what's it called, crab your defenders this year. And then, what's it called, the other ones are just to get open in the general. And yeah, so right now I'm going to get to the right, that's the next move. The next moves are kind of advanced. I, I'm, I'm uh, bro, this, 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 this is the part I'm really, like, hoping for. Like, because these, these moves are kind of, like, basic, right? I, I want you guys to the actual moves that are, like, different, get you open. And we're going to right now, and I'm out. All right, for the next move is it's the um spin back, right? If you don't know how to do spin back, I'm gonna show you like this spin back right here. All right, sometimes I give you like a weird one, but the spin back, what you wanna do is if you go if the ball's in your right hand, you coming up court, let go of everything and then flick your right stick. Wait, do you let go of everything? I'm like you, you can do you, you can hold R2, let go of R2, it doesn't matter. I actually I think let actually to do the quick one, hold R2, right? So like if the ball's in your left hand, um come down court and then oh uh, what's it called? Hold your right stick from uh. Hold on, it's kind of hard to explain. From 12 o'clock to 6 o'clock, right? Counterclockwise. But you can see on my little controller, look. You can see on my controller, right? Look. Hold it from 12 o'clock, like if I was on left hand. Hold it from 12 o'clock, and then, like, go all the way around your controller, right? Go all the way around your uh, right stick from 12 o'clock all the way to 6 o'clock, counterclockwise. So left, right? So if it was your left hand, hold it to the left. Like, it's, kind of, it's, it's, I mean, it's really hard to explain. But you, you guys can kind of see it. I don't know if you guys can see it uh, clearly. It's watching your right hand, hold it um, from 12 o'clock to 6 o'clock, but this time clockwise, right? I, I, if you don't know what I'm talking about, like the uh, the uh, the clocks, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of hard to explain. That's the only way I can really explain it. Hold it from like the top. All right, okay, let's do this, all right? If you're your right hand, hold it from the top of your uh, right stick to the uh, bottom to the right, all right? It's kind of it's hard to explain, Um, but if you, if you, once you get it, you'll understand. If you're watching your left hand, hold it from uh, the top of your control, top of your, top of your right stick to the uh, bottom of your right stick. Um, 
Hold up. Put it from the top of your right stick to the bottom of your right stick to the left, right? If the ball's in your left hand. It's the same thing to the right, just flick it to the right, alright? And you can do this move up, like, you can do it like this, like that. Hold up. I, I ain't do it correctly, hold up. Like this, and then flick back. You see? I do, I only do it coming up court. Like, if you're coming up court, this is the move I do to come up court, alright? If someone's, like, pressing me, this move, you can't bump them, you see? Like, if they're guarding me, now they're bumped. Now they're out the play, and now I can just speed boost all over the court, and they can't bump me because I'm, I'm in free, all right? That that move right there will get you open up the court, and if someone's bumping you up the court, you're going to do this, and they're going to slide all the way to the paint, and you can be wide open for three. Just shoot the, just shoot the, shoot the damn three and make it for me, you know what I'm saying? But uh, that's how you do it right there. It's kind of hard. That, this is probably the hardest move to explain. I'm um, just because, like, I don't know. Just look, at my, look at my right stick while I'm doing it. Um, Yeah, so pretty much I'm going to get to the next move right now. All right, for the next move, I forgot to say this move. I, I forgot. I don't know why I forgot to say this move. But it is the move right here. It's called the behind the back, like, cancellation. Be behind the back, sham guard. It's kind of like, it's, it's both, really. I call it behind the back cancellation. But pretty much, what you want to do is um do the behind the back, like I taught you earlier. But this time, flick your right stick. Just, just, just flick your right stick up, and then do, you do your that, right? While you're doing the behind the back, flick your right stick up, and now you do go back this way, right? You can do, you can do it off this move right here, and then they'll slide, bro. I, I promise you. Because if you do behind the back... They're gonna try and guard the, like you're behind the back, but if you do the uh what's it called this, then you're, they're not, not, bro, trust me, they're out the play almost every single time, just cause they're gonna try and predict where you're going off the behind the back. But if you go this way, they can't predict you, cause they're they already slipped to the other side of the court, thinking you're gonna do behind the back, but now you're doing a behind the back cancellation, and now you out the play, they out the play, and then you you're wide open for the uh bucket, you feel me, like this. And then you can do a curse slide. I'm not curse slide. Uh, speed boost right off of it. See how it works every single time. I'm like, it works almost every single time. Um, but obviously, you only do this move like if they're right in front of you, right? Like, like, look, all right, look. The behind the back is best to do when they're like about to jump at you, right? So like, if you're going right, you see he about to jump at you. Like you're wide. If you're wide open, they're probably gonna jump at you, right? Then you do behind the back, and then you're wide open off the uh, quick stop. But if if they're like, um, if they're like right in front of you. You're not gonna get open, do it behind the back, and then cancel it, and then go this way. And then you're wide open, see? Alright, pretty much, I'm gonna get to the next move right now. This move is actually this move is actually really good. I just put it in my game like a couple game a couple days ago. It's really uh what's it called? Really good for my uh just to, just to get open and become a good guard in general. And yeah, I'm gonna get to the next move right now, and I'm out. Alright, this move right here is the probably the most effective move I use in the game. This move is used to crab people. It's but this move right here. It chains up to every single combo, right? So pretty much what you want to do is just, uh, what I do is, look, flick my right stick up, and then go this way, and then curse ladder, right? All right, so flick my right stick up. All right, so if I hold my right hand, flick my right stick to the left, uh, uh, flick my right stick up, and then my ball will go to the left hand, right? And then go to the right, and then do a curse ladder, right? So look, I'm, this, is the most, this is the more advanced part, to show you guys the more, uh, how to combo up, like the, the best move to combo up with. So yes, yeah, pretty much what you want to do is uh flick your right stick up, go to the right, and a curse slider, right? This move will catch your defender off guard because your, your defender will think that you're going to the uh to the um wing or to the corner, and then you do a curse slide, and now they're out the play, right? So if you do this, look, hold up, I'm show you, I'll show you, hold up. I do this. Hold up, let's not give me the move I want. Alright, look. I do this. Yo, hold up, hold up, hold up. I do this, alright, there. Now the other play, I can do in and out and go. See? The in and out, remember, the in and out is the quickest move in the game. So, like, so I do this, curse slide, back this way. I can do this, this way, alright? Feel me? I, I can do this. This move links to every single other move. You can do off anything. You can do behind the back right after that. You can do another curse slide. You can, you can do two curse slides, three curse slides. You can do this, into a, this, and then two behind the back. Bro, this move links to every single other move. Just flick your right stick up, go the other way. All right, look, all right, all right, I have a better way to explain it, right? So if the ball's in your left hand, flick your right stick, and then go the same way your ball's in, all right? This is the same way the ball hand's in, all right? It's kind of sus, feel me? But pretty much, if the ball's in your left hand, flick your right stick up, and then go to the left, that curse slide, all right? And then, after that, your defender's probably going to be on the left side of the court. Then after that, go to the right side, all right? If, the ball, if the, your defender slides to the right side, you know what I'm saying, go to the left side of the court. You never know, bro. Um, it, it's, bro. Just remember to read your defense, right? This is the most important part, like, if, of being a good dribbler. Make sure you have to know how to read your defense and how to get open on them. Because you got, if you, like, if a defender's guarding me in a certain way, I'll figure out how to score on, how to score on them and get open on them eventually. But, you know what I'm saying? It's not easy, you know, like, you know what I'm saying? It's hard. You got to practice. You got to lap up. You got to, like, 
take your time, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of hard, like, you just got to uh, practice, right? Practice, practice, practice. It's the most important part. Yeah, so pretty much, look, I'm going to show you one more time. Do that. You can go off any move. Behind the back. Curse out again, you know what I'm saying? Do it again. Like, I, I do this all the time. You can see on like, all, all, all my clips, bro. I do this all the time. And this move helps you get, like, a crab. Because if you're, like, if you're right here, then I have to play and shoot it. I'm, I'm, it's kind of hard to explain. I actually have a clip of me doing this. You've probably seen it already. But this move helps you crab people as well. Like, you just do it like that. And then I the play and you crab them, right? See? They crab them. They slide around. You crab them. Shoot it. Wide open. It's a crab. And yeah, I'm going to get to the next move right now. And I'm out. All right, so look. This, for all my moves, like, all my moves that I, I used to crab people, like, um, like a curry slide, long crossover, long between the legs. If the ball is in your left hand, you can only crab to the right. If the ball is in your right hand, you can only crab to the left. This is, the, but this move I'm gonna teach you right now. This is the only move that you could crab to the same direction, all right? Like, like, I'm gonna show you right here. Like, like, flip. If the ball is in your right hand, hold R2 and then flick your right side to the right, like this. See? That's how you do the crab move, right? So if you're about to crab your defender and, and you can't do it because it's like the same ball hand, like, let's, let's say like your defender's on the right side, right side of you right now, right? And you're about to, the ball's in your right hand. You can't crab unless you do this. Now, you, 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 you this, now, you don't gotta do that no more, right? Now, all you gotta do, just hold R2, and flick your right stick to the right, and boom, he's crab. Obviously, I'm not gonna make this shot, but all you gotta do is hold R2 and flick your right stick, right? You can also um, hold it, but holding it looks like this. It still works, but um, definitely tapping it is better like this. And, like, I learned to move like two, bro, I learned to move like two days ago. This guard, um, what's it called? This one guard, he started doing it. I figured out how to do it. It's really good. I, I have no clips with it yet because I haven't always oh, called used it in the stage yet. I always forget to use it. But I'm like, I I'm gonna use it eventually and promise you this move will make me a demon guard. Bro, I'm already good. So it this move will make me even better. Bro, I'm like, this move will really like change your game a lot. I'm, I I'm, I'm already feeling that. But pretty much, I'm gonna get to the next move right now. That one's really easy to explain. Ball's in your right, left hand, flick it to the, uh, hold R2 and then flick it to the left. The ball's in your right hand, flick it, hold R2 and then flick it to the right. Like that, see? Shoot it, green beans, best jump shot. If you need it, I already, I already gave you the jump shot, right? It's pretty much. I'm gonna get to the next move right now, and I'm out. All right, this is a move I use coming up court. This it's, it's kind of like a uh, what's it called? It's kind of like a um dribble glitch from last year. If you, if you guys know what the dribble glitch is from last year, it's like when you came up court and you just like used to pro two like this, like do this move right here, all, coming up court the whole time. Um, that move right there, the, um, what's it called? Last year was was a, a dribble glitch, right? Like you, you could have done that move, but this year just like a new dribble glitch. It's not really as good because you can't really control where your player is going. But I do the coming up course sometimes. What you're supposed to do is uh like it, all you gotta do is flick your right stick. All right, if the ball's in your right hand, flick your right stick to the left, and then uh flick your right stick diagonal down to the right. Right, you can see my controller how I'm doing it like this. You you gotta have uh pro eight cross no no you gotta have uh pro three behind the back. That's why I like pro three behind the back because I do this move coming up court all the time. See, they can't really steal it, and it's kind of like shifty. Like, you move around the court really weird. They can't really guard it. And yeah, all right? Remember, it only, it only works coming up court. Remember, if, if you're watching your right, left hand, flick your right stick to the right, and then diagonal down to the left, all right? If you're watching your right hand, flick your right stick to the left, and then uh, hold, flick your right stick di diagonal down to the uh, right. Remember, uh, practice moves, Practice this move first because you're not going to get it first try. I'm, I'm like, I learned this move by act, bro. It was a whole accident, bro. I pro it promise you it was by accident. Um, it's like this. You know what I mean? It's gonna work really well for you. And yeah, but pretty much, if you don't know how, to, I'm gonna show you how to do something else too, right? Um, to do the crossover coming up court, you can only do it one time. This what's it called? Just flick, like you're coming up court, just flick your right stick to the right. The ball's in your left hand, and then if, if the ball's in your uh right hand, come come up court, flick your right stick to the left like that. See? All right, and then it, so from behind the back, do the same thing. The ball's in your left hand, flick your right stick diagonal down to the right like this. The ball's in your right hand, flick your right stick diagonal to the left like this. See? And then all you gotta do is uh, add those moves together in one combo. And that's, that's what it is right here. Let's, that's what it looks like right here. Hold up. Like that. See? I'm like, I don't know if I didn't work out there. Hold on. I'm gonna do one more time for you guys. Hold on. Alright, come back. Alright, like this. See? Com add them up together. You know what I'm saying? Chain them up. And then it'll look like that right there. It's like a whole dribble glitch. They cannot steal that move, promise you. They cannot steal that move, and they cannot even predict that move. Who's gonna predict it? Like, be honest. Who's actually gonna predict that move in a uh, what's it called in the game? And yeah, so pretty much, I'm gonna get to the next move right now, and I'm out. All right, for the next move right here, it's pretty much the hezzy and step back that I just showed you. But I'm gonna show you guys how to shoot off it, but a standing shot. Right? Sometimes when I'm playing stage, I do a hezzy and I'm wide open. All right, and I don't like shooting the shot right here. Like, I don't, like if I do a hezzy wide open the stage, 
I don't want to shoot that shot right there. I don't want to shoot that shot at all. All right. So pretty much, what you want to do? Literally, it's so easy. I'm literally so easy. All right. Why? Why are you doing the step back? Like, why are you doing the hezzy? Press L2 and then shoot it. Right. Just press L2 and shoot it. It'll give you a standard shot like this. Feel me? And then also we could do is for the step back, do the same thing. Right. Do the step back. Press L2. Shoot it. You know what I'm saying. Low key, the step back is better for that reason. Only, only that reason, cause it gives you more space and you can shoot off it like that. Um. But yeah, I don't do step back at all. Just, just cause I don't like. I don't know. I don't shoot off that shot anyways. I don't do that. But some people do do that and they don't know how to do it. Um, they ask me in the comments. So pretty much that's how you do it right there. I'm gonna go right to the next move. I'm getting to the end of the video, Loki, and I'm out. All right. So um, right now I'm gonna show you guys how to do this um long step. Hold on, I'm cold. I'm not cold. Hold on. Let me put like a, let me put like a real quick. All right. So pretty much I'm gonna try to do this long step back. Um, this move is actually really good. I learned it literally yesterday. Bro, this move is look, just look, look at it, bro. Look, look at it. Look how much space that is, and look. I'm like, I, I missed it. All right. But pretty much, this actual, this actual shot right here. I know the last time I said this is a bad shot, but this, this is actually a good shot. This shot is really easy to time, and if you have difficult shots, Hall of Fame, and you have Space Creator Hall of Fame, you bro. This, I'm like, this move is really un hard to guard. All you gotta do is look, look. So if you're going, all right. This move is best off of speed boost, which, right? So pretty much, if the ball is in your, uh, all right. If you're going to the left, you're gonna wanna hold. It don't, even, it don't matter what where you're going, right? But pretty much, just hold your left stick all the way down, and then hold square, right? Look, look. So hold up. I'm like, it's best off of. Make sure to do a speed boost before you do it. Hold your left stick down, then hold square, and then just time it like it is, right? Uh, that's how you do it right there. Just literally hold your left stick down. It's best. Just make sure to do it in the micro like practice it first, cause it's kind of hard to do. Um, hold your left stick down, hold square, time it. You know what I'm saying? Make the shot. I don't got. I don't got difficult shots. Hall of Fame or Space Creator. If you have space creator, bro, it's it's a free anchor breaker every single time. As long as they're like close by to you, you're gonna anchor break every single time. See that? Green that. There you go. Green it. See, if it's not really far, you can green it. But if you have difficult shots, Hall of Fame, bro, you could green it from behind half court. Trust, bro, I seen a TikTok. He greened it from like back here, like, bro. He he greened it from back there, and he has shot green takeover. I have sharp take by the way, if you don't know. But um, yeah. So this one's really actually really good. Just hold your left stick down, um, and hold square. And then it's a really good shot to time. Make sure to do it if you're open though, because it's kind of like long, but it gets the open though. You feel me? It, it, I mean, this move is really hard to contest in general. Yeah, I'm gonna get right to the next move right now. And yeah. All right, for this last move, well, no, it's, not, it's, not, it's like second to last, third to last move. Uh, this move's not really like a move that I use a lot, but it's like a move to get flashy, right? So if you like re resetting the uh, offense, this bro, look, look, look at me, bro. It, it, and it's like flashy, bro. Let's look at it, bro. Imagine like walking this on, your, like doing this walking back on your defender, bro. They will feel so disrespecting. Like this move, just like the uh, to be flashy. All you gotta do, literally, just oh, uh, what's it called? Hold your right stick up and then walk back. Like li literally, just hold your right stick up and then ho hold your uh, left stick down and then you literally walk back like this every single time. Feel me? This is like really flashy. And then after you like obviously stop being flashy, you can like what's it get? Get back to your normal routine. Feel me? You can go like this, you go like this. Like, and low key, if you do it long enough, they will not be able like to predict you because like you, you, you like they, they think that, like you're trolling, doing that move. But then after you, after you do the little speed boost glitch out, off that, you know what I'm saying? They, they'll like uh, what's it called? Like they're, like they'll be out to play. Like they won't be expecting that. And yes, pretty much I'm gonna go, like right to like the second last, maybe even the last move. And yeah. All right, for the second to last move, um, it's it's the momentum. Um, I know you guys, I forgot to put this at the beginning, but. Like this this year's not really good to do momentum at all. I know some of you guys are probably gonna be asking like how you do momentum, you know what I'm saying? So what's it called? I I, I wanna like just leave you guys uh what's it called? Not, not, not know how to do momentum, alright? So pretty much it's the same thing as uh behind the back like this. Just fl flick your right stick to the right while holding R2. Like, like let's say like this, alright. So behind the back, if the ball's in your right left left hand, you hold R2, flick your right stick to the right, and then uh follow follow your, your right right stick. With, with your left stick, right? So pretty much just follow it a second after. But say, it's the same thing, but instead of diagonal down to the left, just like flick it uh, diagonal up to like the right or to the, it don't matter, like it don't, it don't matter what way you go. So pretty much it's the same thing as behind the back, just instead of going downwards, go upwards, right? So pretty much just go like this, hold up. That's not working, there you go, see? There you go, there you go, all right, there you go. Like, I, don't, I don't do that much, so I'm not gonna be a master at it, but I don't know if I don't put it in here. Some of you guys be asking. But it's the same thing with behind the back. Just also called. I don't, I'm not, I don't know how to spam like that. Um, but just, I know how to do it sometimes. Some dudes be spamming up all the way up court. I'm like, those some dribble guys. Like, they be doing that for no reason. Cause this move just this move does not get you open in any type of way at all. 
it's like the best move in like uh like 17 and all that but this year it's not really that good so what you can do behind the back off it you can do a with momentum and then into a behind the back um but i don't do it at all but you know what i'm saying if you want to know how to do it like i said just do the same thing with behind the back just flick your right stick uh to like the sideways or uh diagonal up to the right left it don't matter but same thing with behind the back just not that downwards just right right or left or um towards the top right pretty much that's it i'm gonna go right to the last move right now and i'm going right into it all right for this last move obviously i'm, I'm in a 3v3 with these ais all right this move is how to uh, what's it called quick stop coming straight up court because if you're coming straight up you can't quick stop right so what you want to do coming straight up court is literally just pass fake if you don't have pass fake just press triangle and circle at the same time look so come up court press at the same time and shoot it right this is the best way to quick stop coming straight up court because you can't quick stop coming straight up court unless you pass fake right this this works well and uh if, if a defender is pressing you and they're behind you but trust me just do a pass fake and they'll be right just shoot the ball right outfit look, let's look at it bro it's so fast look, see, he, he behind me look at this he can't guard it see they'll slide off your body you're wide open i don't know why i'm missing but they'll slide off your body you'll be wide open shoot the ball you know what i'm saying time it correctly and they'll be buttering you know i'm saying they'll be checking like i said with, with that jump shot i gave you feel me but um obviously i'm not green right now because i'm in the micro my court is like a way different timing yeah, so look, come up court, pass fake. See, they, they, bro, I'm telling you, they slide off your body, bro. If you do a pass fake, and if you got pass fake Maestro Hall, there's just one dude who runs pass fake Maestro Hall of Fame. And it, if you do a pass fake with pass fake Maestro Hall of Fame, um, it literally stuns your defender every single time. Do not put, the, bro, in my opinion, do not put the badge on. It's so, it's so extra for no reason. Do not put it on. There's no point in even putting it on. I only do it if the defender is pressing me or they're behind me. Um, yeah, but that's, that's it, bro. That's, that's literally all the moves in the game. So, I mean, the pass fake is really important, too, by the way. I don't know if I didn't put it earlier, but yeah, pretty much those are all the moves in the game right there. Um, there's obviously some more, but I mean, there's more. Nah, there's not really more. I mean, I mean there's, really, there's like a snap. You, you, uh, no, nah, so you don't know how to do that. All right, pretty much those are the moves in the game right there. If you haven't, bro, if you haven't, just like the video, bro. It takes 10 seconds, it's free. This video, bro, I have to upgrade my, my whole PC. I have to do all this. Like, I have to get my controller, all this. You know, I have to do a lot of things for this video to come out to you guys. I would have dropped this so much early for you guys. This video took a lot of my effort. So if you can, please just like the video for me. It takes 10 seconds. It's free. Helps me out a lot. Helps me get to uh more of your, like, you know what I'm saying? Helps me get to recommend this so more people can see the video. You know what I'm saying? Share this with your friends, right? Share this video with your friends so they can see how to dribble in this game. And yeah, so pretty much, uh, subscribe, turn on notice. Uh, comments I'll see you next. Like, let me know. I, my next video is gonna be a 2K20 video for sure. Um, making my return to that game. I was really good at that game too, by the way. If you didn't know, and uh, and after that, I don't really know what I'm dropping. Let me know in the comments what you guys want to see. I'll drop what you guys want to see. Um, if you have any questions in the comments, I will answer all your questions. Just DM, DM me on Twitter. Um, comment, just, just comment, bro. Just comment or DM me on Twitter. I will answer you. I promise. And besides that, follow my Twitter, TikTok, all that in the uh, bottom left. I do post. On, I do post on TikTok now. Hope I, 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 I what's it called, explained it well for you guys. I know I talk fast sometimes. I know it's kind of hard for me. Like, I don't know. I just talk fast. To, um, It's just kind of like a habit for me. I don't know. But pretty much, that's the video right there. Hope you all enjoy. If you got any questions, DM me. Comment it. My bad for talking fast. If I do talk fast. I know I'm talking fast right now. And besides that, hope you all enjoy. Like I said, it's your boy Baxi in the next video. And I'm out. Yes, you in my bed. I got